Today, uh, we had kind of researched uh, this with our black tank. It is the, the Tornado Rotary Tank Rinser. So we're uh, going to be kind of doing this. Uh, never really installed this. But I uh, thought I'd go ahead and try to give it a try. I've seen a lot of really good reviews. I saw there was someone that actually looked at all the different types of uh, the black tank rinsers so I thought I would go ahead and attempt to uh, to put this to uh, install this into my black tank so I guess uh, we're gonna kind of learn together with this this up. Take a look at what all's inside. No, don't tear this. It's got a template hole. So make sure you don't tear that. It's got a template. Looks like it's got the seal. It's got the connector. It's got the valve, the hose on the outside. Uh, that it connects up a little tornado deal. So these are the parts. Some of the tools that you're going to need to have, you're going to need to have a screwdriver, a drill, an eighth inch drill bit, a one and three quarter inch hole saw, some silicone sealant, tape measure, tape, and scissors. So those are some, those are the tools that they say that you're going to need to install this. So we know our tank, our gray water tank is empty. I guess one thing to make sure before you do this that you do empty your gray water tank. It's kind of a mess if you try to do it and you got stuff in your gray water tank. So. It says to locate the central point of the sewer holding tank, preferably the opposite end of the discharge valve for mounting the tornado. Uh, so, really, kind of, I thought it'd be kind of over where, where the toilet would be, uh, but I guess it's saying to put it at the opposite end. My discharge is on the other side of the of the camper, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount it, pretty much mount it up under here. So we're going to mount it. So the spot that it looks like that we're going to mount it you're gonna mount it on this end you want to mount it on the opposite side as you can see my drain is down here so I want to go ahead and mount it kind of on the opposite side so, so let's see we got a beam that's kind of right there so the ideal point to put it would be right up in here according to directions but I don't know hopefully I can get to it from underneath. We, we may, may have we to may. put it somewhere along the side, but I guess closest to the back. Uh, and that, that should, as it sprays, it should spray fairly good in there. So I think we will kind of put it more on the side just because there's more of a surface area. It looks to be more of a surface area over there to mount it. So, so the directions say to measure two inches down from the top of the tank so two inches is going to be that's the top of the tank it's going to be right here to the edge of the bar so it does make it easy so we're going to go ahead and put our template put our template right there and then it says it says to tape down the template so it doesn't I guess the pilot holes are right there where the template is. I 
guess the fifth pilot hole is the one in the center because I don't see any other pilot holes. So I guess the fifth pilot hole is the one right here in the center. It says drill one and three quarter inch hole. So now we will take our hole saw bit and we will go ahead and drill the one and three quarter inch. Okay, it says insert the three the tornado into the three quarter inch hole with the flange facing up. Check that the alignment is correct. Remove remove your tank. If your tank has sloped sides, you may need to install a spacer provided between the tank and the tornado level spray head. So if your tank is not level, then you may need to put the spacer in. But I guess it's saying that you should be able to mount that directly in there so we will go ahead I think I'll be okay so the tornado goes in there just like so move dirt degree moisture from the area for opening apply a silicone sealant into the eighth inch holes cover the entire flange of the tornado with some silicone sealant. If installing a spacer, you may also need to apply silicone sealant to a proper function. Be sure no silicone gets in the tornado sprayer head. So we need to go ahead and get some silicone and now we'll go ahead and put a bead around it. So it says, Go ahead and squirt silicone into each one of your holes that you drilled. It says go ahead and apply and layer a little bead all the way, of silicone all the way around. Oh, it creates a waterproof seal. It said be sure not to get make sure silicone don't get into the sprayer head. So. The two long screws, uh, if installed with the spacer, you want to use the two long screws. Otherwise, you can use the, the shorter screws. So you want to take the four short screws. All right, insert the four screws just like that. Next, it says to go ahead and locate Next it says, locate point on RV within provided hose length of the tornado. Hold the bracket in its location and mark the two mounting holes. Drill two eighth inch holes. Secure the bracket with two three quarter inch long screws. Then you'll route the hose of the tornado to cut the length, cut the hose length. We're just going to put this on here. So we get the proper hose line. Oh, 
says go ahead and mark. It looks like there's some board or something under here. This may be the wet, the best spot to mount it. We will, however, go ahead and redirect the hose to be up top so we can and we'll zip tie it along that bar so that way it's all out of the way for transport all right well that's pretty much all there is to install the the campco the tornado uh rotary tank uh cleaner rinse to your black water tank uh i'll put the the description of the link below down below and in, into the comments uh, if you enjoyed this video, please please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and show your support. Uh, love to hear your comments. I hope this was uh, informative and that it maybe uh, help someone in, in installing this for themselves. So, alrighty. Well, hopefully uh, everything will go good from here and we'll work from here. Thank you. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.